All right, YouTube peeps, we are still on Q33. We are going to be looking at naming the shape, naming the fraction, and using a number line to make fractions. Okay, so let me zoom in here. Naming the shape. It looks like we have four right angles. It looks like we have opposite sides are the same length. <laughs> so if we have opposite sides are the same length, right? We do not have four sides that are the same length. That would be a square. So this is a rectangle. Okay, what is the fraction of the shaded? Notice it tells us what we're going to be naming. The top part is what we're naming or counting. The bottom number, the denominator, is how many equal parts make up the whole. The whole. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight equal parts make up the whole. How many parts are we counting? The shaded parts, three. Three. The line here can mean out of, out of, or it can mean divide. Three out of eight. Three out of eight. Or you could say three eighths. Eighths. Okay, here we go. Divide the number line into six equal pieces. If it's an even number, sometimes it helps to cut it in half. That way I only have to do three and three. Instead of trying to figure out six on how to chop it all the way across, now you can just go three and three. It's a little bit easier to make the gaps the same size. Okay, Mr. Com Mr. P comes along. This, pretend this is a sandwich. If I start here, or I'm right here on the sandwich, have I eaten any of it yet? No. So it's zero out of six. I have not eaten any parts out of six. I'm cruising along, I'm eating. I've eaten that now. One out of six, or one-sixth. Keep eating. Two-sixth. Three-sixth, or you could say half. Three out of six is half of the sandwich. That's called simplifying. You make it simpler. The smaller the numbers, it's more simple to analyze or look at. So we're simplifying it. Keep eating. How many pieces have I eaten? Four equal parts out of six. Five out of six. If I've eaten the whole thing, I've eaten six out of six parts or one whole. Six out of six is one whole. Okay, let's keep looking here. We got a little bit of time. Let's find the total area. Sometimes these can be kind of tricky. You want to turn this irregular shape into two simple shapes. So I can either cut it there or there. It does not really matter. You're going to get the same answer. I'm going to cut it there. Now I have two rectangles. Two times eight is 16. You want to multiply the two sides together. Length times width is the area. That's called a formula. It's the formula. Okay, now we have 11 times 5, 55. We're going to use standard algorithm to add these up. 6 plus 5 is 11, carry the 1. 5 plus 1 is 6, plus 1, 71 inches squared. Inches squared. Okay, hopefully that helps you with Wednesday's Q33 